Thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. Wanted to just do another quick video for you on what I believe to be the VA's playbook and how you can utilize this because it's accessible by all of us uh, at any time. So this is uh, basically the enemy's playbook, in my opinion, and how you can ensure that you are getting the appropriate rating for your condition and being prepared in that CMP exam. So if that's something that you're looking forward to uh, hearing about, hit that thumbs up for me, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. So the enemy's playbook, in my opinion, is the schedule of ratings. Okay, You may have heard about this before. You may have watched my prior video, uh, which I hope you had. Uh, but again, I just I can't hammer home enough on the importance of understanding and knowing uh, your information and being prepared. So when you think about a VA claim and you're filing your claim, I don't care if you're doing it yourself, you have a VSO doing it, you have somebody else doing it, you have a lawyer doing it, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you are going to be the one at the CMP exam and you are going to be the one who needs to be prepared. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter how good your claim is, how much evidence you supplied, you can go into the CMP exam and you could stink it up. And when you stink it up, you could go from a 60% potential rating down to a 10 in a matter of two words. So understanding and knowing what you're walking into is important, important, important. So with the schedule of ratings, and I'll put links and information down below in the description for you. Essentially what happens is when you file your claim, and again, I don't care how it happens, you file your claim and that information goes off to the VA. Now you have hopefully a successful claim, which includes a, uh, your proof of time and service, your diagnosed condition, because the VA is not going to diagnose you. That's not what they're trying to do here. They're trying to uh, see if you qualify for compensation. You need to provide the diagnosis. Number three is that nexus, the link between your time and service and the condition. Not that the military caused it, just that it happened to manifest during the time and service. Now, of course, if the military caused the condition, that's fine. But if you had a condition that you may have been predisposed to getting, let's say migraine headaches or gastroesophageal reflux disease, uh, one of those um, that maybe you think wasn't because of your, your time in service, but it just happened to you in life, but it was during your time in service, that's a claimable condition. So as long as you're getting a diagnosis on all of those and you have your nexus, that link showing that those occurred during your time in service, you're going to have a successful claim. Your claim should go through. You shouldn't have an issue. They should grant it. The issue is when you hit that CNP exam, Okay, when you go into that CNP exam, what's the VA doing? The VA is not necessarily trying to diagnose you because you've already provided a diagnosis from a doctor. So the, the, the only thing the VA would do with the diagnosis, even if it was a different diagnosis, is one, they would have a different diagnosis. And even if the doctor said that it wasn't, now you have evidence that's in equipose and the VA is supposed to rule in your favor if it's equal. So they're not necessarily trying to diagnose you. Maybe they're trying to confirm a little bit sometimes, maybe. But the main purpose, the main purpose of the CMP exam is to figure out your severity. How bad is it? Because every condition has a different set of ratings. Now granted, some conditions have one rating, right? Like tinnitus, ringing in the ear, you get one, it's only a 10%. You either have it or you don't. But a rating for, say, uh, gastroesophageal uh, reflux disease, um, that one will have a, a sliding scale, and it will go all the way up to 60%, um, a 30%, a 10%. So depending on where you fall uh, with your signs and symptoms and durations, which may not be spelled out, in the evidence that you provided because you just provided, I have a diagnosis for GERD, 
Okay, so you provided the diagnosis, but you didn't provide all the details that really pinpoint what your rating should be. So the VA has you go to the CMP exam, sit through, talk it through, whatever. If it's a range of motion thing because you got a bad back, they're going to pull out their little bendable measuring stick and they're going to measure how many degrees you can move, all that stuff before you feel pain. So that way they can annotate it and then send it back to the VA, the VBA, Veterans Benefits Administration. So then the person who's sitting there can then do a side-by-side -side comparison. And they're going to go, okay, here's all the answers from the CNP exam. And here's the schedule of ratings that tells me what I should rate you. So I open up the book and the book says that if you have these five things going on with you, with this condition, then you should be rated 60%. Or looks like you don't have those five things because you didn't say them all. So... Looks like you said two things. Well, 30% rating needs three of those things, so nope, you don't meet that. You only said two things in your CNP exam, so looks like you're a 10%. So an example there would be GERD, okay? If you went into a GERD CNP exam unprepared, you would say, I got bad heartburn, it really sucks, and sometimes I regurgitate a little bit. And that's about all you're gonna say. And then you're gonna leave. And the CMP examiner is going to submit back to the VBA that you said you have heartburn and you have regurgitation. And that's going to get you a 10% rating. But if you would have read the schedule of ratings and not lie, but go, okay, these things meet me or they don't meet me. I do have those or I don't have those. And if you do have those and you write them all down and you walk into that CMP exam and you start having that conversation and you're able to um, let that CMP examiner know that, you know what? Yeah, I have regurgitation. Sometimes I'll vomit a little bit. Um, I have uh, difficulty swallowing. I have substernal pain. I have, you know, heartburn. I have, you know, sometimes the pain will shoot. I feels like almost like I'm having a heart attack. It's shooting up into my arm. You know, I'm really concerned because I, f you know, feel like if I can't get this under control, that, you know, it could erode my esophagus and I could, it, I could end up having, you know, cancer there. And that would be horrible. You know, that could potentially get you a 60% rating, right? So at least it's going to get you much closer because you were able to articulate all of the signs and symptoms that you have from that specific diagnosis because you read the schedule of ratings. Super important, super important. Now, the other thing that you can do by reading the schedule of ratings, if you are let's say front loading this a little bit and you're developing the claim that you're going to file with the VA, you just haven't filed it yet because you filed an intent to file and now you're going to file your claim but you're doing one, maybe one more doctor's appointment or what have you, but you read the schedule of ratings, you know what condition you have and now you're taking, you're reading it and you know I have all of these things, I meet all of that. Take that information to your doctor and make sure that they Place that into your medical records so you're annotating with the doctor that you're experiencing each one of those signs and symptoms. So that way when you get the, those uh, doctor notes and you submit that to the VA with your claim, you're already spelling it out where you should be as far as your rating is concerned. So your rating should be no, no surprise. You should know based on the schedule of ratings what your rating should be. All right, with that, I'll go ahead and cut it off there. Thanks again. I appreciate everybody. Have a great one. And if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong. Have a good one. Bye.